And as Fox 46 and local organizations have boots on the ground in Haiti, the aftermath of the earthquake is hitting one local church a bit closer to home. We continue our team coverage with Fox 46's Northeast Bureau Chief Sydney Heiberger at Friendship Southern Baptist Church in Concord. The relationship between Southern Baptist and Haiti started a decade ago. After the 2010 earthquake, which was very devastating, there was a gentleman who was visiting some uh, relatives in Florida and when the earthquake happened, he could not go back home. That gentleman was Pastor John Enoch Desir. He eventually found his way to this church in Concord, working as a janitor at a Cabarrus County Jail. We were asking him about his family back in Haiti and, and what is Haiti like, and he told us, he said, I cannot describe it to you. You have to go see it. So they did, and their mission hasn't been the same since. I know we have parents who are worried about students wearing masks in school. Um, in Haiti, they're worried about if their children will eat that day. An earthquake here would be devastating, but whenever it's already the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, it's even catastrophic. Friendship Southern Baptist built two churches and a school in Haiti. Pastor Enoch runs them. He and his community are safe from the latest quake, but emotionally, they're back to the same place they were in 2010. Oh, it's been like uh, a nightmare because we hear the cry of people. As the country mourns, as people rebuild. Inside of me, it's like a battle. I am fighting. Pastor Enoch says the most important thing people from around the world can bring to Haiti is their support. We can continue to pray for Haiti, to rise this nation for God. And we hope when we pray, God knows he can heal, he can touch, he can rebuild. Pastor Enoch and the team at Friendship Southern Baptist in Concord are still coordinating to see how they can help. But they say for those considering donating to relief efforts, they encourage people to find organizations that invest in Haiti's long-term success and have an established boots-on-the-ground presence.